Welcome back to uh, my Astro Workshop. Uh, my name's Rue. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos by the other YouTube creators and one of the things I've noticed them everybody seems to do is show their show test indicators and dial indicators on their lathes and surface plates and milling machines and where have you um, and one of the problems that you are all experiencing um, is a phenomenon called called, called glare now um, and there are, amazingly watching my videos you can't believe it can you but when I first started out um, in the world I was I worked in film and television so um, in film I was taught a lot about uh, lighting and um, although I don't preach most most of what I uh, learned or I, I don't practice what much of what I learned I do remember some of the stuff from there and one of the things that um, I've noticed is that uh, um, people are suffering from this phenomenon which is called glare where you get a very bright area in your image. Um, by the way it's not called flare, flare is what you get on the inside of the lens so if you point your camera at the sun you'll see um, things called flare spots, uh, that's flare. Glare is what is, um, is happening when, when something bright is dominating the, the picture, either reflection off a windscreen or my glasses. So you can see these those little uh, dots in my eyes there, that, 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 they're flare, that's flare. Sorry, glare. <laughs> I'm confusing myself now, but that's called glare. Um, now, in the film industry, in order to stop glare, which is a problem um, for a lot of filmmakers, they use all sorts of tricks, but one of the things that they use a lot of is a, things called, a thing called a French flag. Now, a French flag is nothing more than um, um, a way of of blocking out the the light from falling on the surface, which is causing the problem. Um, if somebody could invent a black light, a light that could shine anti-light, they, they would be a millionaire. But the next best thing to it is a French flag. Uh, so that set me thinking. Um, the problem that we have with indicators is that. The, there's too much light, the, especially the white-faced ones, the Imperial guys, so it affects the American guys a lot more than it affects people like Stefan and myself who tend to use metric uh, indicators which are yellow. Um, they're not quite so reflective, obviously. I still have the same problem, but it's not quite so bad as a white face. Now I've dug out a white-faced um, Verdict 10th um, indicator which has got a very white face and suffers from it really badly. But what I've done is I've, I thought, well, let's make a French flag. Now, a French flag is a flag that basically is a, is a something that obstructs the light. And in my case, I've cut out a little disc of black plastic. I mean, it's not even very round, but it doesn't really matter. And you can cut these to any shape that you like, depending on what you're doing. And then what I've done is I've made a little um, flag holder, which is nothing more than a crocodile clip which has been crimped onto the end of, this is a piece of solid core cable, so this is the sort of thing that you, um, well, it's basically out of a piece of house wiring cable. So just strip it back and you can get this stuff out and it's solid core copper PVC um, coated and it crimps very nicely onto the end of there. It's quite relatively rigid, it's certainly rigid enough to hold a crocodile clip and a piece of plastic, but it allows you to position it into a, any, any, any way you like. Um, and then what I did is I just made a little clamp which is literally a two minute job on the lathe. It's just a, a, um, a piece of aluminium drilled out um, with a little uh, clamp screw and I drilled a hole through here and this is just shoved in so it's just friction, held by friction. You could glue that I suppose if you wanted to. But the idea behind it is that this flag, and let me just put the flag on, so the French flag itself goes on the end and then I position this on the, on the um, um, indicator stand so that this is this flag here is preventing the light from falling onto the actual um, test indicator itself so let me show you how it goes onto the indicator and then um, I'll show you how it works so this is a very typical scenario we all do this we, we want to show people um, the, the how good our work is um, or how bad it is um, and um, you can't actually see the needle properly because there's just simply too much light falling um, on the um, on the actual um, uh, test indicator. And um, I see some people doing 
um, this sort of thing and of course that that's exactly the problem too much light getting on here um, the, the camera is exposing for all of this grey area um, you want to be able to see some detail in here um, you can if you've got a camera that will allow it you can back the exposure off slightly and that does help but the best thing is to um, use what, what, what I showed you earlier which is the French flag so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, French flag on here so I've just put my little mount on onto there and just screw it up and I'll just position my French flag um, there you go so you can you can keep it out of shot if necessary I mean it is possible to I mean for if it were Hollywood you obviously don't want the, the flag itself in shot um, for um, for YouTube uh, engineering videos it's not necessarily that critical but the fact of the matter is is now that as you can see um, there's now um, you can actually see the actual indicator and as I move it the good thing is is because it's actually um, attached to the to the base you can actually uh, move the um, the indicator around and the flag is still obviously shielding the light from the the, um, the test indicator allowing you to see what's going on um, so um, there you go that's uh, that's uh, a very quick thing to make and uh, makes uh, a much better job oh, by the way it's quite flat this but I didn't make it <laughs>